All right, moving on, the U.S. Secretary of State Antony Blinken is on a visit to Haiti to solidify the U.N.-backed security mission in the Caribbean country ravaged by gang violence. Blinken on Thursday visited the multinational security support base located in Port-au-Prince and met with the MSS commander, Godfrey Outage, and the Haitian National Police Chief. Blinken held meetings with Haitian Prime Minister Gary Connell and the head of its presidential council, Edgar LeBlanc and called for renewing the United Nations mandate for an international security mission to help Haiti fight armed gangs. The mission itself needs to be renewed, and that's what we're working on right now. But we also want to make sure that we have something that is reliable, uh, that's sustainable, and we'll look at every option to do that. So a peacekeeping uh, operation would be one such option. Uh, I think there are others. In a statement, he said that he hoped to see an electoral council established to organize elections in the country next year. He added that there were plans to convene a ministerial meeting at the UN General Assembly for additional financial contributions and to renew the mission's mandate and announced a further $45 million humanitarian aid for Haiti. The United States is also committed to using this foundation of security to support and unlock the potential of the Haitian people. We're the largest contributor of humanitarian assistance to Haiti. That includes an additional $45 million in humanitarian aid that I'm announcing today, bringing the total USA to over $210 million this year. Blinken's crucial visit comes as Haiti continues to battle violent gangs that have taken over much of the capital and started moving into nearby regions as well. Earlier on Wednesday, Haitian Prime Minister Gary Connell expanded the state of emergency to cover the entire nation. U.S. is largest contributor to the mission that the country requested in 2022 to help fight gangs and reclaim territory. The U.N.-backed police officers from Kenya started arriving in Haiti last June. Thank <laughs> you.